you know, the whole time I was thinking that it, it can't happen and it won't happen to me. It can't be true. Look, what, whatever you decide, I'm here. I really don't know what I would do without you here to talk to me. Sorry. We are gonna get through this together, okay? So are you trying to scoop me? Have you and Vicky set the date? Oh, set a date? Are you marrying Vicky? <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, were we talking to you? No, look, I'm sorry. This is all just a big misunderstanding. Vicky and I are not getting married. I'm just, I'm gonna move back into her house. That's all? Why don't you marry her, Tim? Well, we're not, just not ready yet, Shane. Well, will you be ready soon? I'll tell you what, I'll keep you posted, okay? And I'm, I'm sorry about the mix-up. Yeah, no sweat. I'm glad you're moving back into Mrs. Davis's house, Charlotte. Hmm. It was more fun with you around. Well, thank you, and I'm looking forward to spending some more time with you, too. You know, I'm glad you and Vicky are gonna take the chance to get to know each other a little more before you take the big plunge. Ah, who's the dad and who's the kid here, right? Yeah, right. Why? Geez, well, I gotta get Shane home. Geez, you'll be wondering what happened to us. Okay, I'll grab your stuff. I'll see you back at the house, Shane. See ya. What was that about? <sighs> well, I was about to spit off the truth to Vicky before you called and told me not to. I had to tell her something. What's <laughs> this? So you proposed? <laughs> no, but I was stalling, and then Roxanne got involved, and all the stitches got all screwed up. And now you're moving in with Vicky. Call me crazy, but uh, things could have turned out worse. Maybe I'm just being selfish, but I I want to relish the time that I have with her before the truth comes out. Maybe it won't come out. Come on. Dorian knows. Natalie knows. How long until the whole world knows? But I'm Charlie Banks, and you're my son. So, what can I get you to? I'll have a virgin daiquiri. Um, I think I'll have a Chardonnay, and I don't want to hear what Nash has to say about fruity drink. Speak of the devil, have you heard from him? Yeah, why? Well, I tried calling Sarah and her cell phone was off. Well, I think they're probably wine tasting and Nash didn't want to be a server. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's it. I'll be right back with the drinks. Thank you. So, did Nash say he was having a good time? Well, if he was, he wouldn't admit it to me. Why would you say that? Well, because I'm here slaving away while he's off in Nacka. Excuse me, but this isn't so bad. No, no, I'm not talking about tonight. I'm only here because my sister took pity on me, and him and Sarah are out, you know, going to galas and concerts and, I don't know, maybe a hot air balloon ride, maybe bungee jumping. <laughs> well, Sarah can definitely be a bullsome. Well, she's the team's daughter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She's got his hands full of that one. Yeah, I guess he got bored with the cannons. Oh, us? Oh, yeah, I guess you're not really boring lately, huh? <laughs> so what, what, what really happened at the offsite, huh? Come on, spill it. Come on. It was... It was very intense. And informative. What, you want to tell me? Tell me that you have more feelings Please for me? Please stop, please! No, I've heard enough! For God's sake, Jared, you're my uncle! No, I'm not! But, um... You know what? We worked out a lot, and I think I think it's just better that you weren't there. You can miss a thing. You didn't tell me Gigi was living with you. Well, it's none of your business, is it? How do you two even know each other? Oh, we met in Texas. I held her and her son hostage. You did what? Yeah, he was desperate to get Sam back. He didn't want to hurt anyone. He was actually pretty great to Shane during the whole hostage situation. Why didn't you ever tell me this? I didn't see the point. Did I ever tell you about the time my mom beat me in the nose? Ah! Oh yeah, I almost did the same thing to your mom. I'll go see how Shane's practice went, excuse me. Go ahead, say it. What were you thinking? 
wasn't thinking. Look, you cannot come into my home and intimidate my guests, okay? I didn't know she was living here. I didn't come for her. I came for this. We still need a third base coach, and Rex said he might be able to do it. That's way more of a commitment than we have any right to ask. I didn't ask. Coach did, when he was helping run batting practice. You were busy. Huh. You know what? You seem a little wound up. Did someone give you sugar? <laughs> Ruff took me out for ice cream. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, do you have room for dinner? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. Go upstairs and do your homework until then, please. But, um... No! Uh... Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Rex. Thank you. Oh, hey, think fast. Mm. Um. Well, next time I'll ask before I feed the kid. If there is a next time. It was a really big help today, thank you. He did great. He was a little bummed there for a while because the coach kept bumping him back to third. Not that there's anything wrong with third, I just happen to be a shortstop from way back. I remember. But once he breaks in that new glove, the one you got him for his birthday, he... <sighs> Gigi, I have to ask a question. And you have to promise you won't get mad at Shane. Why? He told me that you don't want anybody to know when his birthday is. And I gotta wonder why. Baby, it's mine and yours. I love you. And I'll love our baby just as much. I don't care what your dad does. He's not going to keep me away from the two of you ever again. Oh, you have to go. No, I'm not leaving you. You have to go. My mom's going to come in here. Star? Cole, you have to go. I'm coming in. Mom? Star? Maybe. What is it? What's wrong? Oh, 